Hello trainers, Pokemon Professor here, and I'm going to teach you guys how you can spoof on Android. It's still possible to spoof on Android. It's a little trickier than before, but it is still a possibility. As you guys can see, I'm on Android phone right now. I'm able to spoof. I'm able to catch Pokemon. Pretty much everything you would normally do, but yeah, on an Android. So pretty much... Here's the app I'm using. It's FGL Pro. Uh, so let me just give you an example. So I just changed my location. Go back to Pokemon. Okay. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to switch locations for me here. I'll show you guys. Okay. So... As soon as this gets out of the way, yeah, as you guys can see, it is possible to spoof on Android. So, uh, you just got to give it a second here. It's going to switch locations. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can do this. Alright, first you're going to want to go to your phone and um, you're going to want to go to your settings. And you're going to want to check your phone, check it out real quick. Uh, you need to make sure that you have Android um, 8 or lower. Okay, see where it says Android version right there? Android 6. So I'm on Android 6. So <clears throat> it works fine for me, but you're going to need to make sure that you have Android 6, 7, or lower. Yeah, or Android 8. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is you need to go to installed apps okay well first actually what you want to do is you want to check to make sure uh, that find locations is disabled <laughs> so this one right here so it's disabled right I'll activate it just to show you alright so <clears throat> now it's activated so under device administrators that's what you need to search and once you find find my device it should be there should be a blue check mark on it uh, just click deactivate then go back after you've done that go back again back to settings and go to installed app and then from installed app you go to Google Play services and then you want to make sure that you have the right version of Google Play services so this is an older version. This is version 12.6.88. All right. <clears throat> so what you guys want to do is you want to grab those numbers in the parentheses on your version and you want to search it. You want to make sure you get the right version um, for your phone. So in order to spoof on Android, you're going to need to have the right version of Google Play services installed. okay all right so this right here is the version of google play services that you're going to want google play services 12.6.88 so go ahead and get that from apkmir.com so as you can see i just googled the google play services number all right and then just go down and find the um number in parentheses that fits with your uh phone's google play services all right and now if you're having trouble figuring that out, my advice to you would be to just um, Google the number, number in parentheses and see if you can find it, um, find your model, and then get the information on the arch right here and find the arch that fits with your phone and then just get no DPI if you, or, you can, or you can find the DPI for your phone. But either way, what you want to do is you just want to download the right version. So you go ahead and you find the right version on this list here and you download it. And then after downloading it, I'll show you what to do. Alright, so now that you have it downloaded, what you want to do is you want to click it and open it up and click install. And then just go ahead and install it. Alright, and then once it's installed, then it's pretty easy to spoof after that. So go ahead and install it. All right, and now that it's installed, you want to go to Play Store. So open up Play Store, and the three bars in the top left corner, you want to click those because that's what you're going to need to open up, all right? And then 
after you click the three bars, go ahead and click settings and open up settings and click auto update apps. And it'll usually be on over any network or over Wi-Fi only, but you want to put it to don't auto update apps because you don't want it to auto update Google Play services. So once that's set, that should be fine. Right, and then just go back, go back into your settings in um yeah, your phone settings and double check on Google Play services and make sure that you have version 12.6.88 installed, all right? So once you've got that installed, what you want to do is you want to um you want to go ahead and open up FG, FGL Pro. All right, open up FGL Pro. <laughs> and then pretty much it's going to start out at your location and you just want to freaking find out the area that you want to go on the map all right and go there so right now i'm at pier 39 so um what you do is you just like go you double click on the location you want to be at and you click play and then after that it'll say mocking please wait so you just wait for it all right and um yeah sometimes it'll take a second but then what you're going to want to do is see it'll say close here sometimes it gets stuck so you can just click close here and that'll close it go back open up pokemon go and then you'll be at the location if everything worked correctly you'll be at the location you should be at all right so let's go ahead and open this up and then I'm going to show you guys the FGL Pro settings that you need to have while spoofing, okay? So, yes, we don't we won't play Pokémon Go driving. All right. So here you go, guys. As you can see, I'm spoofing and if I want to walk around, I just use the joystick here and uh yeah, you just move it a little bit and then she'll start walking. Yeah, you could do everything with this. You could catch Pokemon. So let's catch this Squirtle right here. No AR plus right now. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much do everything you would normally do. Except you're spoofing. So you can play it like a real video game. But um, yeah, so pretty much that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have any problems, just make sure that Google Play services hasn't automatically updated. Um, that can happen sometimes randomly. It's hard to prevent. You just got to make sure it doesn't happen. And um, yeah, let me show you guys FGL Pro. All right. So here we are in FGL Pro. So let me go ahead and show you the settings here. Get this ad out of the way. All right. So you want to have, let's see, you want to have secure mocking set. And then you want to try out these different mocking methods. I do method one. That works best for me. Um, and then auto fix mock location is a good thing to have on. And then just leave it at leave it at 30 seconds interval. And yeah, I usually keep the route speed down because if you have the route speed too high, then uh, Pokemon don't show up. So yeah, just want them to walk around normally. But yeah, guys, that pretty much sums it up. It's pretty pretty easy to do. You just gotta just gotta make sure you're on the right version of Android and make sure that your Play Store services are downgraded properly. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys on this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Professor out.